of Arts and Sciences. The Board of Trustees yesterday voted 10 to 4 in favor of Zinzer. Three of the trustees who are deaf voted no. Today the students closed down Gallaudet saying if we can't get what we want, they won't get what they want. This afternoon there will be a meeting between students and the board chairman, Jane Spillman, in the field house. She will explain the board's decision. The students have broadened their demands beyond asking for a deaf president. We would like Spillman removed as the chair of the board of trustees. Our third demand is that 51% of the board members should be deaf. They understand the deaf community and our needs the institution and its future and my recognition of the very precious challenges that it has uh, but I do believe that the most important thing for me to do now is to develop the skills of communication that will make it possible for me to communicate fully and deeply with the community that I will be uh, engaged in and that I will be serving and I have a program of study outlined for myself in order to uh, engage in that process. Howard, the University of Maryland and Georgetown will be here later this afternoon to show their support of the students here at Gallaudet. Reporting live, I'm Chris Gordon, Eyewitness News. Hundreds of students have shut down Gallaudet University in Northeast Washington, the nation's only college for the deaf. They are sending a sign, a sign of frustration and anger. The students closed the campus early in the morning, barricading the side and main entrances. They had been demonstrating in support of a hearing impaired president for two weeks, but last night the board of trustees selected the hearing candidate. Dr. I. King Jordan, one of the deaf finalists, came to campus today to thank the students for their support. My reaction, of course, was disappointment. I, uh... I applied, considered myself a very serious We're candidate, right and am disappointed that I didn't receive the position. Negotiations continued throughout the day, the board demanding that students reopen the campus before talks could begin in good faith, students and faculty groups drafting demands to be presented to the board. They would not be specific, but said they would give their souls for a deaf president. A delegation of students and faculty met with the board of trustees in the afternoon, and most of the student body came to support their representatives, gathering at a baseball field near the site of the meeting. They were told to wait. After more than an hour of discussions, the board decided to address the student body at the field house. The students at Gallaudet University today made their mark on an age sometimes driven by angry, noisy demonstrations. Their protest, like their world, was largely one of eerie silence. Except for the honking of horns of passing sympathetic motorists, this was largely a demonstration articulated in the signing language of the deaf and the hearing impaired. 
an expression of their outrage that the university's board of trustees had passed over two deaf candidates and picked a new president, one without hearing impairment. To Gallaudet students, it was the ultimate insult from an establishment they say prefers too often to choose for them and seldom ask them how things might be done better. We deaf people have our right. And now the time that we need a deaf president, right. we don't want one, we need one. Because when we get a deaf president, we're going to be very that deafable. We know it, we want it, we've been right. fed up for a long time. We've shown you our feeling, that's why we've shown you our deaf power. The students rejected a trustee's offer to meet with them if students ended their protest and allowed Gallaudet to reopen. King Jordan, Dean of Arts and Science at Gallaudet, and one of the candidates rejected for president, joined the protesters to offer his support. The, the deafness issue is a very, very real issue. I think it shows people that Gallaudet is, in fact, achieving its mission that we can offer a very fine education to them people and let them rise to the top. That's, to me, what the, uh, the message would be if a deaf person had been a... said at Gallaudet University can affect how the deaf are perceived across the country. That's why support for the protesters extends beyond the Northeast campus. Gallaudet students and faculty are not alone in wanting a hearing-impaired person to head the country's only university for the deaf. Gary Olson, executive director of the National Association for the Deaf, and his staff say it's time the deaf community is heard. We've got to tell the world that we're tired of being oppressed. We can't tolerate, we can't tolerate it anymore. We can't, so, so, uh, we can't sit there. Can we if, we can't, if we can't succeed there, where else can we succeed? Olson, a Gallaudet graduate, concedes there's never been a deaf president nor a protest before. But in 1988, he says there are qualified deaf people, many graduates of the university. We've not been able to identify a group of people that we felt that could do a job until recently. We found a lot of people have succeeded and have obtained experiences, expertise, and things like that. We put them together, and now we have the caliber people. Gallaudet students have taken to the streets a decade or two after the protest era, now firmly convinced that the best choice has not been made by the 21-member board of trustees. Four members are deaf. Olson charges the choice of Elizabeth Zinzer, the first woman president, is discriminatory and brushes aside the needs of the university's population. Because of our deafness, we have a unique culture. Very different. No hearing, hearing person can understand that. For example, me trying to understand deep inside a black person, or a female for that matter. It's not possible. There are more than 16 million deaf and hearing impaired people. School is out, but students and faculty members today said the appointment of a president who doesn't even know sign language is only one reason for the strike. They claim the board of trustees simply is prejudiced against deaf people, an issue simmering beneath the surface for months. The administrator doesn't really hear to our needs. Um, most of the administrators don't really sign or have no, no knowledge of the deaf culture or the, the deaf community. That is the underlying reason, say protesters, who point out there has never been a hearing impaired president in Gallaudet's 124 year history, but there has never been a strike about it either until now. Deaf members of the board say, in effect, throw the bums out. I applied for the position of president. I'm a deaf man. I think it's very clear that I would like to see Gallaudet University have a deaf president. I would like to tell you that I have been here on Gallaudet campus for 35 years. I, I am the oldest in terms of service. I have never felt so defeated in my life. Students have been peaceful, but the campus has been trashed with protest debris, the administration adamantly refusing to budge and rebuking student claims of discrimination. Another student demand is the ouster of board chairperson Jane Spillman, who was shouted down this afternoon when a lengthy negotiation session failed. A lawful, proper, and final decision was made. The board will... 
listen to your comments if you wish to come to this podium. Students walked out in mass, except for a few who remained behind to chide the administration. I'm disappointed with this board of trustees because they think we are not worth anything. So the board must resign. Let's march to Capitol Hill now. It's no joke. It's time for a deaf president, and that's how we feel. It is time. With Congress providing $75 million a year in aid to Gallaudet, protesters came here to demand funding cuts. Alumni also are being asked to suspend contributions, and a discrimination lawsuit is in the works. Meantime, students vow that students ended the first day of their protest with a rally to plan for a long siege, shutting down the school until Dr. Elizabeth Zinzer is replaced by a deaf president. We do not want her, period. Period. No questions asked. We will continue to lock out until we get what we want. Do you understand? to Capitol Hill. They say Gallaudet received $75 million a year in federal monies, and then they walked to the White House to demonstrate their displeasure. After a day of protest, students of Gallaudet gathered for a night of strategy. But now, today, we feel that it's ready for the deaf to leave our own lives. We need a deaf president. It's important to us. Earlier, thousands of students and faculty boycotted classes, forcing the university to close for the day. This afternoon, students took their protest to Lafayette Park to draw the attention of President Reagan, who signs their diplomas, and Congress, which provides a majority of the school's funding. The reason is the Board of Trustees' refusal to reverse its decision, passing up two hearing-impaired candidates in favor of the first woman president in the school's 124-year history. Students minds isn't qualified to communicate with them and can't relate to the deaf culture. Well, I recognize that there's a level of understanding that I could not expect to have not being a deaf person. It would be less than humble for me to suggest otherwise. But as a compassionate person and a person that's deeply interested in the university and the work that it's doing and the constituencies that it serves, I believe that with their help, I will come to understand as much as is possible as a hearing individual and be able to serve the university well. Students say they will block entrances to the university's campus tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock at the scheduled opening time, although police say they will tow cars blocking any entrances. At this point, we are told the roadways will be ticketed and towed. Outraged students at the Northeast Washington School are protesting the Board of Trustees' decision to appoint a president who is not hearing impaired. As Chris Gordon reports, with the help of Jean Lindquist of Deaf Pride, students at Gallaudet say they will disrupt classes again today. The Gallaudet students ended the first day of their protest.